Okay, so we've gotten ourselves into the live TV. It's asked us to go ahead and reconfigure Vader streams. And this is the very first section that opens up after we hit those four zeros. So initially, of course, we're going to enter in our username, which in this case, I am uh, s setting this up on behalf of a client of ours. I'm going to click done. The username is now locked in. I'm going to, of course, now have to put in the Okay, so I put in the username and the password, and now that's now set. The next thing I need to do is I need to go over to my server settings. I'm going to move the keyboard over, and I'm going to, or the mouse I should say, and I'm going to click on this arrow twice until it says can. If I happen to go past it, no problem, just keep going around until it says can again. The next item is to move over to match center. When I go over to Match Center, I come onto the main screen, I'm going to click Enable Match Center Time Offset. Now when I did that, it brought up another section. In order to change this section, I do not click with the OK on the mouse. Instead, I'm going to click the arrow left button, and I'm going to get it till it says minus four. That should say minus four, this should say plus six, and this should say plus 12. The last step of this is I'm going to go down to my EPG groups. I'm going to skip over EPG settings. I'm going to go to EPG groups. I'm going to click on the CAN TV and I'm going to make that blue light appear. I do not need to activate the live sports because that is automatic Invader Streams regardless. And then I'm going to click OK. When I do that, it's usually going to ultimately do a little bit of updating and then of course kick me out of the screen. Sometimes it may kick me back to my home screen. In this case it didn't, no big deal. What do we want to do? Well we want to shut down, okay? Because without shutting down it's not going to save the items we just put in there. 